How would you make your interact if a cast hits them? Oh, you mean you mean like this? Malicious Munch? That's a weird name. <laughs> Do you mean like this? Where it highlights? So I'm doing it in a way that like obviously it doesn't look super good, but it, it does work for like if you're just testing and you want something to look like that. So essentially, I'll show you this scene here. So I've got this mug, right? And I've got the mesh. And then I've got another mesh, interactable mesh, where it's just the same exact, it's identical, but the geometry is different. So I've got a material on it and I've also got it scaled up by 0.08. So this is like an imported mesh. So the scale of the cup is 0.1, but the interactable is a little bit scaled up. So it's bigger. And then the actual material, that's what I was going to show you. So it's set up as cull mode front. So normally it would be back and you wouldn't be able to see it, right? So we set it up as front and depth draw always. So that it sort of, it looks like it's inside it. See how it looks like that? It's weird, right? It's just back to front. And so that's how you make it look that way. You would probably do it with like uh, a better shader because obviously if you look at this on certain angles, you can sort of see the inside and you don't want that. Uh, an easy way to fix that is to simply just change the uh, shading from per pixel to unshaded. And then you'll get a nice line here. There's still gonna be a couple of instances where you can see the mesh, but overall this looks really good. So if I jump into the test project at the moment, um, you'll be able to see that when I hover over the mug now, it's got a nice solid line around it, which looks a lot better than it did before. How would you implement that in code? At the moment, I've got to play with a ray, but as I cast the object, it's not finding the reference to the child in the pack scene. Okay, so my code is really basic. I've got an interactable as like a base class, which is just a rigid body. And in that, I've got on interacted and I've got unfinished interaction. And on detected is probably, if I had to think about it, where it's coming in. So on the player, there's a area 3D. You can see it here. And this area 3D is actually in the shape of a separation ray. So it's just a single line. So that way you get good detection. And all it does, let me get back to the player script, um, on body entered. If it is an interactable, then we'll set the, it's gonna, it tracks what is actually being interacted with. So it keeps track of that. And it also sets on detected to be true. And so in the case of the mug, what I'm doing is when it's detected, it's got a function called display label. And all it says is if interaction mesh, which is this mesh here, set it to visible. And it's coming straight from that on detected function. So like all it does is as soon as it gets scanned by the detector on the player, the player's detector just sends a, a function call to the mug. And so you need to be careful, obviously, if you're just sending function calls across to make sure that it's gonna have it, which is why it's set as needing to be an interactable. Um, so that's like the safety there. There would be other ways to do it. Like I used to do it with a raycast and I would continuously poll and I'd check if it had the method. You could do that too. But this, this works fine. Oh, you've got it working. That's awesome. So yeah. It's just nice and simple. I don't know. I've not expanded it to be that. Um, it doesn't include everything right now. You know what I mean? Like right now I've just interacted with audio logs, video, no, what are they called? Um, notes, like notes on the ground. So where's my test scene? I don't even think it's going to work because I made major changes to it. So I've got like audio logs that I can pick up and these are going to be notes as well, but I can't interact with them yet because I've changed the code and how it works. And in theory, um, in this case, weapons as well. So I want to do it all, but I haven't finished it yet. But I'm really happy right now with the detection that I've got for the two things that I'm doing. Like the, the, um, the mug works really well. 
<sighs> so right now I can like, if it hits the wall, it's just going to drop off. I haven't done like, um, you know, in, is it um, in Skyrim or whatever? If you pick something up, you can sort of inspect it and like move it around. Mine doesn't do anything like that yet. It just follows the camera and rotates with it. That's it. 